remember, I'll be back. I know, Sunday. Pick me up at... I know, 5 o'clock. And don't forget to stop by my house and please feed my... I know, feed your goldfish. Annie, you ever get the feeling that... We know each other so well that we've become like two rats trapped in an airtight box, desperately sucking down their last little rat-sized lungfuls of oxygen? No. Just checking. I'm in a rut, Mikey. With Annie, with everything. How many summers do I have left to test my limits? Find out what I'm made of. I mean, let's face it. Sometimes I feel like Mr. Boring, Mr. Dull. I know where I want to be, down there at the summer swap meet. At least there, if you get bored with something, you can try and unload it on someone else. Oopsie. Mikey, how much do you think I'd get for the old me? Probably not as much as Shelly's getting for your old shirts. Grace Musso, just the sight of you soliciting sends tingles down my spine. What spine? Ooh, tingle number two. No looky-loos. If you're not buying, please waddle on. You know, Grace, if I didn't think better of you, I'd swear you were here just to attract men. Who, me? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> interest you two young buck marines in something in a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher? Okay, that's it. It's time to do something really crazy. You up to it? Oh, Parker, Parker, Parker. My party days are over. Working two jobs, trying to make my rent. The last thing on my mind is meaningless pleasure. Whoa! Intense babage at 3 o'clock. Park? I think you're right. You need to get out of your rut. With them? Get real, Mikey. They've got to be at least in college. You want danger? You got to get some higher education. Or on a roof. Isn't that dangerous enough? No. Car trouble? We can't decide whether to have it cremated or buried at sea. Well, Parker here is a genius when it comes to cars. Aren't you, Park? Uh -uh. Well, the sedan has, what, four doors, a coupe, um... <laughs> oh, by the way, that's Mary and I'm Erin. Do you think they like us? No, they're fixing our cars a humanitarian gesture of goodwill. I hate you. Just remember, this whole thing could end up being one beautiful memory. Yeah, and so could Annie. Which one do you like? The one that talks. They like us. Hmm? Mikey, I've got two words for you. Jailbait. They're old enough. We're jailbait. These ladies are on our side. You just gotta know how to read the signs. Mary made eye contact. Now that's a first down. Then she touched her shoulder. That's big yardage. And both of them laughed at our lame jokes. Now, you gotta hit the oomph button. Don't fumble the come-ons, blitz up the middle, and pow, we score. I'm still dubious Maximus. <sighs> Well, one thing's for sure, they don't have boyfriends. Zero maintenance. Okay, turn it over. You guys are grease monkey gods. We bow to no gods before you. Listen, are you too interested in going raving? Uh... Outlaw party. Different location each week. Oh, uh, well, gee. Uh, there is that cheese documentary on the Discovery Channel. We're there. Right, Park? What am I doing? I've got a girlfriend. I can't do this. Annie and I are a couple. Well, Green Eyes? Hmm? Hmm? It's a date. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You'll be breaking the law and cheating on the woman that you love. Do the words burn in hell mean anything to you, sir? <sighs> Ease up, Jerry. It's just a party. But it's an illegal party, sir. What about the whole morality issue? Parker's a moral guy. These college girls don't know you're in high school. What about the whole honesty issue? Parker's an honest guy. And Annie, what about the whole fidelity issue? Jerry, do you see a leash on him? 
was I thinking? Go for it, sir. Hmm, maybe Jerry's right. I am going to burn in hell. Shelly, I've got a question for you. When is a rag not a rag? Well, I don't know, Coach. When is a rag not a rag? When it's a wonder rag. Yay! The amazing all-purpose wonder rag can sop up spills even when it's on fire. Sounds great, but it also sounds expensive. How much does one of these cost? Fifty? Sixty dollars? Fifty? Sixty dollars? Fifty? Sixty dollars? Is that what you think? I'm offering these amazingly fantastical wonder rags for only $19.95. Not good enough. The crowd wants more. Yeah. You want more? Yeah. You want more? Is yeah. that what you want? Yeah. yeah. I'll give you more. How about two shirts, $14.95? And I'll toss in a free Ronco thigh trimmer. Yeah! Supernova, my collection. The Starship Enterprise, as featured in the eagerly anticipated yet overlong first motion picture. How do I know those are the authentic photon torpedo tubes? Do I look like an imitation photon torpedo tube model maker? Do I? Do I? Keep walking, bum. Oopsie. Words of advice, Grace. Sex sells. Don't be afraid to use your womanly charms to seduce the buyer. Get out of my sight, you pathetic planet-sized pig dog. Sold. See how easy that was? <sighs> Next week, the party's in the bad part of town. This is nuts. What if Annie finds out I'm on a date? How could she know she's 100 miles away? Unless she has that sixth sense that all women seem to possess. Mm -hmm. Kidding, kidding. Jeez, lighten up. Okay, I'm just gonna lay low. Okay, not a problem. I can do this. I'll go in, have a good time, just as long as nobody I know finds out I'm here. This is too happening. Hey, come on, Mikey, we're gonna miss Seinfeld. I'm safe. There's nobody here to report back to Annie, except Brad Penny, the one guy who wouldn't hesitate to nail me. Hey, Parker, there's a friend of mine. Brad! Hey, how's it going? Good. Brad, Parker. Oh, we know each other. Hey. Some party, huh, Park? Listen, let me know if this guy tries anything. I'll take care of it for you, okay? Parker? Annie? Having fun with your date? Great DJ, huh? Shame, shame, shame. Annie? Excuse me? Your girlfriend. What's her name? Direct hit. Maintain part. You can still talk your way out of this. All you need is something believable, yet ingenious. Uh, it's Annie. 
We've been seeing each other about 10 months now. It's kind of serious. Cool. You're not mad? No, serious is great. So is not serious, and we came here to have a good time. So stop being so serious. Make sure that you have a good time. I get no pleasure out of this. This is heaven. I'm having the kind of night that makes me want to go. Attention, this is the police. This is an illegal assembly. Please proceed Rain! to the forward exit for processing. Going. Why are we trapped in a giant hefty trash can liner? <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Wow! I've never been to a party that's actually been raided before. Oh man, are you in a good mood or what? Hey, I'm pumped. Come on, let's go do something crazy. I got an idea. Let's go to the park and ride on the swings, standing up. Ooh, you are dangerous. Oh, well. <laughs> I've got an idea. Do you want to go back to my place? Um. Um. Uh, uh. Must resist her charms, fight attraction. Just say no. Yes. This is it. I wanted to see how far I could go, and here I am at a college girl's apartment at 2.30 in the morning. No telling what's waiting for me on the other side of the door. All right, Park, you ditched the cops. Well, come on in, you criminal. What took you so long? We stopped by the park. Parker wanted to frolic on the swings. I did not want to frolic. Ugh, it's all over your face, ma'am. What? Post-frolic afterglow. Don't worry, Park, life has its gray areas. Where are you going? Oh, Aaron wants to have a little talk with me. In her room. Mikey! Psst! No! Mikey! Mikey! Your erogenous zones, the Kama Sutra, 
Parker Lewis gets lucky? So Erin took Mikey into her room for one of her little talks, huh? If I know Mikey, she's already in love. I hate men. In third grade, it was so easy to keep a guy happy. White paste, apple juice, a couple of Twinkies. By seventh grade, everything changed. I was a complete failure at hickeys. <laughs> Thank you. What am I doing here? I don't know this girl. She could be crazy. And what's with all these candles? I might end up a human sacrifice, which might not be so bad. I like you, Parker Lewis. You're really obvious. Obvious? <laughs> In a nice way. I mean, it's, it's nice to meet a guy who's sweet and sincere for a change. A lot of guys think that uncomplicated means boring, but you're not complicated. And you're not boring. I think she wants me. Has anyone ever told you you've got a real opie thing going for you? Yeah, she wants me. Chris dumped me right after Kevin. And I'd hate his guts if I still didn't love him so much. Do you think that's sick? Uh, sure. Oh. <laughs> uh. Boy Scout, are you? I like that. So tell me, did you have a good time tonight? One of the best nights I've ever had. <clears throat> oh. I'm sorry. It's, uh, this whole secondhand smoke thing. <laughs> would, would you mind if I open the window? Go ahead. I have the coolest boyfriend. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Annie? She's been haunting me all night long. Everywhere I've gone, I've seen her face. But this time, the fantasy's different. This time, I'm glad to see her. You know, whatever it is you're looking at out there will probably still be there in the morning. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Listen, Mary, there's something I have to say. Uh, Mark, look, sorry to interrupt, but if I'm gonna get to work on time, I'll have to get up like, uh, whew, 45 minutes ago. I'm out of here. You staying? Uh, give me a minute. I'll be outside, sleeping. Mary, I'm sorry, but... I just don't think this is gonna work out. Look, if it's our age difference that bothers you, don't worry about it. I know you're young. You mean you don't care that I'm 16? <gasps> oh, man. Oh, man, I thought you were, like, like 20. Really? Coolness. Summer swap meet days are over. I guess you could say a swap meet is a lot like life. There will always be some things you want to hang on to. And some things you don't. Whew. They're about people needing people and people needing money. They're about the things you outgrow and the people
people you want to grow old with. Namely, my Annie. I know that now, after surviving my weekend of temptation with an older woman, only to be brought down by a stray bullet, Brad's gonna tell Annie everything. And I didn't do anything. He's gonna tell her about the party and Mary. He's evil. He's gonna tear this relationship limb from limb. He's merciless. He's deadly. He's gonna smile, nod, and walk right by. He's a heck of a guy. What can I say? Sometimes you need to take a walk on the dark side to appreciate how good things look in the light. Mary was right. It's easy to confuse simplicity with boredom. Thanks to her, I'm sure of one thing. When it comes to Annie, I'm not trapped. I'm hooked. Honey, I've been in a rut lately. What do you say we do something crazy? Want to ride the swings? <laughs> Standing up? You're a maniac. <laughs> Mr. Lewis? Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello? 